up guys, Manu Pedal here. Just wanted to do a fast video on what I like to pack for a road ride while out cycling. Uh, this is a minimalist packing gear list and it's something that you can really just throw inside your jersey pocket. I'm gonna show you how I pack it all and pretty much just like really, really small things here. This is all like micro stuff to pack just to keep you on the bike. And if anything were to go south, you can just do a quick fix and you'll be back on the road in no time. So this is one of my pumps that I like to use by Bond Traeger. This is the Air Rush Road Pump. This is a really solid pump. What I like about this pump is that it has a CO2 cartridge compatibility right here. So what you can do is just pretty much, I'm not going to put it in all the way because it will pierce that CO2 cartridge, but you can tread it inside the pump right there and it'll pierce it, and that'll get you on the road really fast. And then what you can do is just fill it up. This is a 16 gauge cartridge. And what I like to do is carry a couple of CO2 cartridges. Usually, you know, obviously if you have two wheels, one for the front, one for the rear, and I'll bring that with me. I usually, I also like to bring an adapter if anything were to go south with the pump. I have this adapter that also screws to the cartridge. And again, same function, you just screw it on. I won't pierce the cartridge, of course, because that'll just waste my CO2 cartridge. These are by Lazine. You can get a bunch of different ones that they make. Uh, I like theirs, but uh, you can use whichever CO2 cartridge. There's also different sized cartridges. This is a 16 gauge. You can also go with like a 20 gauge cartridge as well. I always carry two tubes, and I also have a pack uh, patch kit. And inside the kit, I'll show you what I have. I have one or two things of glue here. This is a vulcanizing glue, really strong stuff. And I have a bunch of different types of patches as well. Pretty much a whole patch kit. And I bring that with me. And this is like a spare glue that I had from a while back. So I like to bring that since it fits inside here. I like to just throw a fast rubber band over it to make sure everything is nice and snug. And that's that. I bring a tire lever. This is the Pedro tire lever. I recommend bringing two tire levers. I, I can't find my other one, but um, I like to bring two just in case one snaps. Uh, it's gonna suck, you know? So you're probably, probably about to find like, a, a butter knife for someone else on the road who can help you get that tire off, especially if it's some, some tires are really hard to get off of rims too. So I always recommend bringing two tire levers. This is just one, this is a Pedro. These are really, really strong. Park Tool also makes some nice tire levers, but I, I also have some Park Tool ones too, but the Pedros definitely recommend these. These are super, super strong. They're made from really hard plastic. I like to bring a tire boot. These are really good. If you get a tire blowout, you can pretty much just peel it and you can, it has like a stick, a sticky back. So you can just pretty much like put it inside your tire and it'll act as a pretty much a seal to that tire for you if it were to explode. Depending on how large that explosion is, sometimes like, you know, obviously you have to replace the tire, but these definitely come in handy. One time I was coming home from a race uh, a couple years ago and my tire exploded and um, I didn't have this, but I did use a Metro card. That was actually a video I made with uh, my MacGyver setup for a tire fix, and it worked out actually. But it's really nice to have. This comes with like usually three, and these are from, from Park Tool, so these are good to have. And I put everything inside of here. This is like a little pack towel that I got from a while back from REI, since um, I figured it's a nice size to pack everything in here. So I'm gonna show you how to pack all these items here inside this here pack towel case. All right, so first off, I like to take the tube out. Generally speaking, I like to put a rubber band around the tube, but uh, it's okay, we won't do that today. We'll just go ahead and stuff this inside here. And it also gives us more room for a second tube. Depending on how you feel, I mean, if you're running tubeless, you can probably just get away with like bringing one tube, but I like to bring two tubes, so that's just personal preference, but to each their own. So you can go ahead and stuff this inside here. 
Might be a little tough to get in. I, I did get two in here before, but let's just, I'll show you how to get one in for now. And follow that by CO2 cartridges. Get two of those in there. I like to pump, put my tire lever in there. We can squeeze in our patch kit as well. And our tire booties. We can also stuff this in here. And, oops. Fill out there. And now that's that. I know it's a little it's a little bulky, but honestly, in your jersey pocket, it's fine. Not a bad deal. You got your pump, that'll go in the center of the jersey. Keep everything nice and leveled. And you have an extra tube here. You can obviously just throw that in your other side of your jersey pocket. You can put that, balance it out with some food, a couple of cliff bars. So this will be the center of the jersey pocket, left to right side. And then you're on this side, you'll have some food, maybe a couple of um, goos up in there. Depending on like how you do it, maybe some sugar, maybe some bananas. Definitely recommend some a couple bananas up in that back jersey pocket looking good while you're on the bike. If you guys have any questions, leave your comments below. Let me know what you ride and what you pack when you go for road rides. This is obviously optimized for a really good long road ride. You shouldn't have any problems with the setup. Uh, depending on what pump you like to go with, I had this pump for like three years. It's, it's definitely held, held it down, so definitely recommend it. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, guys. We'd love to see what you guys bring. And by the way, just wanted, I'll definitely make another video on these Oakleys here. But um, these Oakleys, man, I've had these for about three years. These are the uh, Folkley Jawbreakers. And these things have been holding up really well. Sight on these glasses. Uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out.